South Korea responded angrily to North Korea's missile test Sunday. The rocket flew some 500 kilometers before landing in waters between South Korea and Japan and follows more than 20 missile tests and two nuclear tests by North Korea last year. As the very first ballistic missile launch of this year, the government strongly condemns the action, a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions and a severe threat to the peace and security of the Korean Peninsula and the entire international community. North Korea's repeated provocations clearly show the nature of the Kim Jong-un regime's irrationality, maniacally obsessed in its nuclear and ballistic missile development. Kim Jong-un said in his New Year's address his country was in the final stages of completing an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, a missile that would be capable of striking the U.S. mainland. American President Donald Trump then tweeted, it won't happen, and stood beside Japanese President Shinzo Abe as he condemned Pyongyang's launch Sunday. Analysts suggest North Korea's progress on its missiles and nukes pose a direct challenge to the new U.S. president. I think rhetorically uh, Trump would like to appear, appear like the tough guy, the real strong leader. But in fact, I can't help but think that we're just going to go into another one of these rounds of denunciations and statements and maybe a UN resolution and um, calls for China to do something about North Korea. It's going to be that pattern as usual. North Korea's missile launch comes just weeks before annual large-scale U.S.-South Korea military exercises slated for March. Pyongyang criticizes those drills for increasing tension in the region. North Korea's missile test and the upcoming U.S.-led drills may be pushing the prospects for any kind of negotiations at least a little bit further off. Still leading presidential candidates here in South Korea favor engagement with North Korea and a reduction in the sanctions and pressure, which many argue have increased tension on the Korean Peninsula. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.